They be like, who? Who are you? Babies, we found fleas on them yesterday, so they're sleeping in here for a while until we know that they're flea free. This is the best purchase I've made. Good morning, everybody. Today is a beautiful Thursday. And in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining the ways that I build my productive 5 a.m. morning routine. I kind of cheat sometimes in my vlogs. Like, I take so much time in the morning. Like, yes, I wake up at 4 a.m. Yes, I wake up at 5 a.m. But by the time I get to the gym, it's already like an hour or two later. And that's mainly because I don't like being rushed. That's why I like waking up at 4, because I get to relax. When I say building a productive 5 a.m. routine, it doesn't mean like, up and at them at 5 a.m. in the gym by 5 a.m., which I want to do, which sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. But I do usually take my time in the mornings to fully wake up, to relax and calm myself down. And by the time that I've already woken up, people are still asleep, you know? That's why I like waking up early and then like nobody's at the gym most of the time. Today's a beautiful Thursday. Switching up my workout split and I'm going to do abs and shoulders and back today. I did that on Tuesday for the first time. I wanna try it again today, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And Let's get inside. Hey, tell me, tell me now where you going? If you really know, then you show it. Only one chance, don't blow. Don't mind the hair. Me and the hair are going through a divorce. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but in the beginning of my fitness journey and my health wellness journey, building a routine required me to build a workout routine to incorporate with my daily morning routine. And when I tell you in the beginning of my journey, personally, it was incredibly hard to be consistent with my fitness. Oh, there goes my 
it was incredibly hard to start it off because I literally had no idea what I was doing. I had a glimpse of it, but at the time I had no idea how to start. I had no idea who to talk to. And at first I got a personal trainer. Hey, Papa. At first I got a personal trainer, which was incredibly too expensive. And eventually I kind of learned on my own to where I didn't need a personal trainer. So I cut my membership pretty short. But now that I'm working out by myself and I'm kind of just teaching myself, I realized that whenever I would train, I would wouldn't really go to my full potential. Oops, sorry, mom. And whenever I had the slightest excuse to not go to the gym, I would take it and actually not go to the gym and actually justify me skipping the gym. Once in a while, I would push myself, but we all know Mel having those slumps and having to get out of it. But it was incredibly difficult to get out of those moments where I wouldn't go to the gym for a week. But honestly, it's not horrible to have rest days, you know, work hard, recover hard. But I know that there's a lot of you out there that lack the motivation of going at least once or going you know consistently or daily and you have goals that you want to reach but you find yourself stuck you have such a lack of motivation and it's also not just motivation that gets you to your goal you also have a lack of discipline lack of discipline we are all guilty of it trust me when i tell you that everybody you know we all have a goal but without discipline we are very unlikely to reach that goal you know some of us really do need people to push us and some of us are fortunate like me enough to have a spouse to go to the gym with you and there are many days where I push him to his limit, he pushes me to my limit, but then most of our days were kind of like, eh, like not really motivating each other or pushing each other to the limit because we love each other. So we don't want to be too pushy. We kind of like, oh, is that enough for you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I cannot tell you guys enough how many times there has been moments where I feel like I need somebody to tell me to keep going and somebody to push me on to correct my form because I can't really see my form unless I look in the mirror or I record it. But since I am very focused on my workout, I don't notice it as much. For obviously we are solutions to that you know find a friend to go to the gym with you hire a personal trainer and a big step to improving your discipline is by taking accountability and having somebody there to walk you along how to get to the goal that you're desperately trying to get to which is why this video is sponsored by future which i looked into them and it's not just like those regular workout apps where they just have these random people giving out workout plans or diet plans or workout details it is basically an app or online personal trainers it means now I cannot find an excuse to not go to the gym and not doubting my ability to go because now you have somebody there to push you to your limit and to cut your bad habits. So when you sign up, Future matches you with your own personal coach to train you. And not only do you get professional help from these very experienced trainers, these trainers are actually one of the most nicest people you will ever encounter. They're easy to approach. Like let's say if you're training with them, you can easily come up to them and tell them what you're goal is and what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with and how high your limit is like if you're sensitive and you don't feel like being too pushed to over your limit you can tell them that and they will work around your schedule they're there for you so the reason why they're gonna be pushing you is to get you to your goal and eventually to have you realize what discipline gets you and eventually you might not need them anymore so once you sign up you're going to be having a call with your coach you get to talk to them over the phone and then you guys get to talk over your own custom workout plan like I said putting down your goals and your trainer is gonna work around that is gonna work by giving you the information that you need based on your needs your comfortability and your schedule you can also message them through the app sending them videos of your workout and honestly ever since 2020 everybody has obviously made the choice of not going out to the gym not being in public not having a trainer come into their home due to safety requirements so the fact that this is an online personal trainer I feel as if a lot of people will feel so much more comfortable working out from home or working out at a gym without having to be face to face with anybody so as you're going over that with your personal trainer over the phone you can build that into your workout plan and you think it stops there no honey not only is there gonna be some call-in checkups there will be voice prompts calls with your coach this is basically creating a relationship with a real-life personal trainer just all virtual if you have the ability to have your own personal trainer to guide you within your fitness journey and to help you out with the difficulties that you're having within your discipline you and your coach are going to be able to work together to achieve your fitness goal which is one amazing and two overall helpful because these are professional
professional coaches. They have trained celebrities, professional athletes. Since you guys are already texting, you're gonna be asking questions to your trainer. Like, let's say you send one of your workouts and you have questions about your form, you have questions about muscle memory. If you have an Apple Watch and while you're working out and you track your heart rate, calories, or steps, or how long you were active, you can even send your data to them by screenshotting it. If this all interests you and you are willing to get committed into adjusting your discipline in your workout fitness or overall health journey this is very helpful for future beginner gym rats beginners starting off their fitness journey now there is no excuses to train with a personal trainer reaching your goal is now more affordable and easier to get your hands on all you guys got to do is go to tryfuture.co slash melanie to get your first month for $19 but as you guys know I go to the gym almost every day but then there's many times where I don't go for almost like a week or three four days straight and you're gonna see me trying out the future app to do my normal workout routine but with an actual personal trainer telling me what to do and telling me my actual form performance and all that also if you guys want to just click the link in my description and choose your coach today i helped y'all with the typing process just go click the link below and thank you future for sponsoring today's video now you guys are able to have a coach that is going to keep you accountable for your goals and your actions not gonna lie my shoulders from last workout like my traps are so sore. I never were, I don't remember the last time I ever worked out on my shoulders or my traps. I have shoulders as you can see, like I, I have quite the strong shoulders, but when I went ham last time, bro, it hurt. And I'm debating whether I keep my hair down for the workout or I put it up. And I'm kind of debating, maybe up, I mean maybe down. <laughs> what am I saying? I might keep it down. We shall see how it goes. Ah, uh, I see how I really do be coming in clutch, right? Yeah. Ah, oh my God, it's like so sensitively sore, bro. That's all natural. Ow! Ow! I rolled over my ankle. When you fuss about your legal plans, yeah. Hope you know I'd rather criticize. But if I do, what's the difference if you and I? When the world is cold and you just can't deny, you're high and dry. Better learn how to thrive. When the world is cold and you can't deny, we'll make it through the night. Better learn how to thrive. Whoa, and I really cannot reach the end. Nostalgia. How can I go on if you're not around? How can I go on if you're not around? How can I go on if you're not around? How can I go on if you're not around? You're not around? Family don't need each other, we need each other Through the ups and downs, season weather You may cut some now, but time will come You need someone to buckle down and be your brother Someone to muscle down, at least a cousin Who are home when the keys are coming Sometimes you need loving When times are cold, the father to bother Put your mind to grow If you don't understand me Talking about family, it's time to show If you ain't got a family Can't do that one, huh? 
Oh, the fact that that hurt while I held the floor. I don't think I can do that with no hands. I can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. You gotta breathe. Breathe through that nose. I'll see you, man. Like that, like. You see, guys, even if you say you can't do it, just do it. I'm trying this workout out. So, since I did shoulders, I'm gonna do an ab while doing my shoulders with the dumbbell. Oh! 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 Cause you know the solo dolo bro. Yes, you buzzing quick. Hey, we're back. Hi. You guys literally do fit there. You can't go far. If we're not together. My hair is a mess. Let's not mind that. While I'm doing my skincare routine, let's talk. Because this video, basically I'm trying to tell you guys how to build a productive morning routine. And productivity, usually people think that it means always doing something. I also have to remind myself that taking care of myself and relaxing and like chilling, it's still considered productive. I hate when my eyebrow does not. Now, usually I work from home, as you guys know. I get this question a lot on TikTok, but my job is basically YouTube. I'm a content creator. Did not know I was gonna become this. Real talk for one minute real quick. Content creating is not what I wanna do for the rest of my life. However, I do like how it comes out. I don't wanna do it myself anymore. You know what I mean? I kinda just wanna live my life and still put out content for you guys but my main thing is that i think content creating does require a lot of talent a lot of patience and a lot of like you know business talent and all that for me i could get the gist of it it's just not my cup of tea like i can do it once in a while but it's just like not my my thing i want to dude i want to dance i want to dance this is brand goddamn new there we go. I want to learn dancing. I want to travel. I want to learn new cultures. Like there's a lot of things I want to do, but right now my way of living, especially with inflation, this is how I can survive at the moment. Right now I'm trying to stay in my comfort zone, even though in order for me to get to where I'm, I want to be at, I have to get out of my comfort zone. I baby steps. I know that the Mario rose water, I know this is kind of controversial. I saw it all over TikTok how this is actually not that great for your skin. But I just saw one of my favorite actresses talking about how she doesn't even wash her face in the morning She just sprays a bunch of rose water on her face and she has like a natural glow So this is the only one I got and I'm gonna just do it until it runs out And then please give me a suggestion in the comments like what's a really good rose water spray mm. And I love spraying shit on my face in the morning And what I do now basically like what takes up a big chunk of my time is basically the gym And when I get home I'm gonna be honest with you guys if I'm not editing or if I'm not cleaning or filming I am home doing nothing and it's not like nothing like on my phone. Well, yeah, actually that I am on my phone on my couch Just scrolling on TikTok watching YouTube and watching movies or shows That's kind of all I do like I, if I'm not working I'm basically doing nothing unless I try to hang out with the kitties as much as I can Like I said, they had a flea problem yesterday and waiting on their flea collars to arrive today so I can hang out with them But building a productive routine does not require you to be doing like a million things at once You just got to find something that you want to do like let's say you usually don't get out of bed and you really don't be doing anything at all what really helps me is just finding something to do around the house like i'm an introvert i really don't like going out but at the same exact time i want to go out but at the same time i really don't 
I don't. If you're like me, romanticize it. If weather is doing laundry, see all that? I don't want to do it, but it has to be done. And I'm going to do all of that, but I don't want to do it in an uncomfy way. I would do it on my bed where I'm comfortable, have the kitties around so I can pet them, see them play, or, you know, do the floors, organize, and just make myself some food. I usually like to make myself some type of caffeine or some snack. Taking care of yourself is still productive. That's all I'm trying to say. I feel so bad that they're in here all day. Like, this is their play area. They got their litter box. They got their bed, which is low-key now kind of a toy. Like, I guess this is their bed. Because they keep peeing on this in there. I don't know why. I'm trying to get that to stop, but I don't know how to do it. And their scratcher, which they love. I really want them to have, like, wall. Hi, Mamash. I know you want to get out. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Daddy's got to do another flea comb, okay? And then you guys can come out. I want to get them a scratcher or like things to climb on the wall. I don't want to take up more room by getting like one of those carpet ones. Just have it on the wall. Mainly that's their toys. Oh, and somebody's peeing or pooping. They're digging in there. Hi, mamas. If you guys want to know the difference, uh, Doja has a white tip on her tail. She has her two dots vertical. And then Boy over there has a black tail and his dots are horizontal. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, the camera angle, the lens was being stupid. Like, as you can see, the lens is like much more of a wide angle. And I was like wondering like, why, why, like, why is it not going back to my wide angle? So I called my friend Freddie to help me out with that. But I think I just fixed this. Let me call my mans. Look at this. Oh, now I feel better. I was like wondering. Never mind. I got it. You figured it out? Yeah, say hi to the vlog. Now I'm sad because ha my entire morning vlog had no wide angle. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you later. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Bye. That Okay, now I'm so sad. All the footage I got was in a close-up angle, and I hate it. So, thank you, baby. I am still trying to get my journal game in. Are they really playing with the ball? Yeah, see, that's how they play, apparently. The ball's under it, and they put their stick their hands on there and play with it. So, it's a DIY game. But, yes, I am trying to get my journaling game on. This journal, I forgot where I got it from, but I... Oh, wait, no, right here. This is their Instagram. If you want to get your hands on one of their journals, I highly recommend it because I love this journal so much. It feels like feels much more like a book than a journal. It has habit tracking and all of that. It has little sections of your morning routine and like night affirmations and questions to journal in. So let me get some of this in today. Oh my god, it has like a little moon sketch. Y'all already know how obsessed I am with moons. I named my damn cat moon, right? This weather with you, I'm so cozy. Now I'm better. Let's make the cat food. So, this is the, the multivitamin that their veterinarian prescribed them with. This is their little vitamin. I break it in half and drop them in there. Then this is their salmon oil. I had this grizzly one. It was low-key making their poop like mushy. I asked one of the pet employees like, is this, you know, safe for cat kittens that are like uh, two months, three months old? And they said like, oh, like it says it on the bottle. Like it tells it, it says go by the pound. And I was like, all right, so like half a spritz and their poop was getting smushy. So I'm just doing this one that I found the first time I went salmon oil shopping, but I know there's a good one that I want to get soon. But if you guys have any recommendations, let me know because I need good brands that are good for my babies. I'm paranoid on killing them. I want to be responsible. All right, Din Din, they're really aggressive. And I feed them, I don't know why they're like this. They're aggressive like trying to get it. Like I fed them this morning. They're acting crazy. I don't know if this is a kitten thing, but I've seen kittens that don't act like this. They meow, but they don't like get crazy. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Din Din, Din Din. They're literally trying to escape the playpen. I put Doja's over here because she usually steals. Oh my god, did they get out? <laughs> okay, well, I guess they got their own bowl. They really now know how to get out. Are you kidding? They really do. Now they know how to get out. It's time. It's time. Hey, no, no, no. 
I would make matcha in the more traditional way, but I kind of like this way the best. And I'm just lazy to do more dishes. It looks super white. This is good. I think the oat milk's just good. <laughs> My man's is like moving around the light, so if you see a bunch of studio lights, that's why. I feel like it's the oat milk that's kind of sour. Oh, yeah. What was that? Oat milk is sour. So this is all right. So let us drink this sour ass matcha, even though it looks really pretty in this mason jar, but it doesn't taste the greatest. It looks great. To be honest, if the milk was, if the oat milk wasn't, Spoiled, or I don't even think it's spoiled. If the oat milk wasn't sour, this looks like it would taste really good. But I guess we're gonna sip that once in a while. We got two Amazon packages. I got one, I got the cat's flea collars, and I also got this like iPad case. Y'all will see. Do a little unboxing. It's a mark. I got it in black. Technically, it's my boyfriend's iPad. I bought it for him, but I kind of want to start using it to plan as well. And here are the flea collars that I got for the babies. Thank God this came in two packs. Figure out a way how to put these on them. See, this would have been a much better angle when I did my skincare. I kind of noticed that my hair was a little wild throughout this video. I had like mini braids that I braided myself like on the corners getting all tangled and I had them for a while. So they're a little, they were a little undid. So as you can kind of tell I like took them off. Added some of this Australian organics hair oil, which I love. They gifted me hair oil, their hair oil spray, their shampoo and conditioner and their hair mask and I, I'm so appreciative towards them. I love them. And I'm putting some where there's a lot of frizz. I don't really do a lot of hair care, which as you can see, that's pretty obvious. But I do want to get into it, but like I just want something simple to like help this type of hair because I have a lot. And products are, and I don't want anything too expensive because products are hella expensive. And this is a lot of hair. Like one bottle would do this hair. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I look a little weird. So I'm debating if I want to do the laundry as we speak or prep lunch. I have to do one of them. I'm a little hungry. I could prep lunch and then while it's cooking, I could do the laundry at the same time. See, this is what I mean as I go and I choose how to build my routine throughout the day and try to be productive. <sighs> but the one thing I hate is getting the damn air fryer. I also gotta take my vitamins. I can't eat them without having food because then I'll get really nauseous and you don't wanna throw up it's good money worth of vitamins. guy look at my sleepy boy look at my sleepy familia here's doja and then there's moon yeah i know you guys are hungry i gotta feed y'all oh we should stretch hello hi oh you're up now yeah it's lunchtime they're gonna chase after me i already know it i'm just stealing this real quick guys Gotta stay in there though. Take two. Mm. 
Guys, I literally just fed you. Come here, mama. Mama. Let's go get your food. Good girl. Good boy. Now mama's gonna have her lunch. Her beautiful tomato soup. I'm getting headaches, so. Cheers. Yeah, this is my burnt ass grilled cheese, but low it's still gonna be good. I added butter. It looks better on the other side, I promise. Here's lunch. By the way, peep the new vacuum. This one's even cooler. It has a whole ass mount and it charges while it's on the mount. It has like a much more like modern digital. What is this? Oh, I never took this out there. What is this? Oh, <gasps> wait. Okay, that's, that's satisfying. I still believe in my hopes and dreams. Yeah. I just lost the wind of myself. Who you love me the same? Who you love me the same? Who you love me today? Who you love me today? If I weather the storm, can you stand the rain? If I couldn't go on. Oh boy. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just to check you little fatty. One more time. Last check. Hey. He has the best facial expression. Right. <laughs> you gonna go to sleep to this, buddy? You keep running around looking in the wrong places. What you're looking for is being right here. You can lay all your burdens down. You got so much on your whiskers. How do you shove your food? Oh, it's like crusty. I'm sorry. It's so much food. Is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. It is. It's a little wet in his hand. Is he really covering his shirt? I'm sorry, Papa. At least you're all clean. There's no more food on your cheeks or your nose. There's a little bit. You can kind of see. There's still a little bit, like, right there. Oh, you know what he reminds me of? Shifu from Kung Fu Panda. Oh, my gosh. you doing? Oh, she's purring. You forgive us. You forgive us. Get off. Yeah, I like those lines, yeah. This is the cutest thing ever, I'm sorry. I gotta stop filming. The sheets are done. So I low key don't like this color. This is the color gray and I don't mind it. It's just, it does not match the pillow. So it looks kind of tacky. I'm too lazy to return anything. So we're either going to stick with it or we're going to find the will to return it and see if they have a white one. For now, this is what we got. We got this at Costco. I love the fabric and I love the material. You can just tell, you can't really tell that much on camera. It's super like bluish gray and this is super white and i just don't like how a bunch of colors are clashing we got like gray black white and that light gray that looks blue This is 
is like the DIY climbing game. As you can see, I'm currently reorganizing. Um, I am iffy about everything, but I'll show you what I did. I switched up the coffee table, added this cork water here, put up the water dispenser up here. I'm still iffy about it, I'm just gonna see how I like it. I took off the marble little like stool that was here and put it on my laptop and now this is kind of open. Kitchen, I like, as you can see, I moved this around to have it a little more open and a little more nice in the corner. And more of the gadgets are on this box because I, re I rarely like be needing a big space on this. So I, deci I decided to have it all on that side. And that's pretty much what I did so far. I don't know what I want on the top of the bar cart. I have seltzer water on the bottom and glasses on top. I honestly don't know what I want for the top. I really liked the big water dispenser on the top there, but I feel like I needed to just move it around a bit. I might move it back, but you never know. I was thinking about putting the lemons over there, but if I need the lemons while I'm in the kitchen, I don't want them to be all the way over there. So I have some berry beet ginger shots that I'm gonna take with my man's. Better not get it on my white sweater. It's not bad as I thought. You get some water, you get the burst. Honestly, that is my favorite ginger shot that I've ever made. If you guys haven't seen my last video, my productive Monday routine, I'll link it down below, but it has like the recipe of how I made it. What are we doing right now? Honestly, I just did a whole round organizing. We're at Target because I found out that there is a 70% sale. Oh my god, why? Your girl's a little buzzed too. You guys know your girl loves a good Target run. Honestly, I would have gone something if it was open. This is what gold plated. I think it's the other one. I see this all over TikTok. I do would like this one. I like this. Say less, the best spot. Um, I could have sworn there was a sale and there is no sale. I don't see a sale. They bunked me. I just got lied to or I'm either too late. Like this was supposed to be like 60, but now it's like 7, uh, 30. Damn, I was only gonna get things if shit was on sale. Now I'm sad. Yeah, no, nothing's on sale. Everything looks beautiful as always. Damn, I only have like 30 minutes to look and choose. Oh my God, these are so cute. I am upset at myself. I wanted to spend less than 150. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. By the way, my man's looks so fine in his pajama wear. I like your drip, man. <laughs> he has his little ponytail on. How are you gonna hold this chair too? The chair? Yeah. Okay. Feel like I should do a haul before I like get everything settled. I'm really impatient, so I get excited, but I got some new utensils, like some simple black ones to uh, change up those gray ones. I got just mainly some like plastic containers. I think two of the items that I bought today were on sale. The only things on sale. These are like just containers. I don't know what I'm gonna organize them with, but I know I need them. I think this one was somewhat on sale or no, it wasn't on sale. It was just a good price. It was like six bucks for this. And I asked my boyfriend, what are we gonna use this for? And he had no idea. And then he said, wait, toilet paper. And I was like, oh. That's nice. And then I caved in and I finally got this salt um, container because this one I liked at first. I thought it was clever. I'm just not into the, this wood kind of like 
it clashes a little too much. Also, we got the circle mirror. I don't know where I'm gonna put it quite yet. Probably like in front of over there. Like I need something to reflect the light back into the room because it's kind of like a dungeon over here whenever the light is kind of only at the balcony. And then we also got the new poof, as you guys saw. This one's a much, obviously it's different than this one. Literally that one is flabby and this one is nice, like a ball. All right, now I'm gonna put everything away. I'm tired, bro. <sighs> So I changed, this is my pajamas. These are not my pajamas, this is my man's shirt, so. All of his shirts are dresses to me. It's cute, but at the same time, it's a little annoying because I kinda want one of them to fit me naturally. And that, my friend, is the end of today's video. Yes, I know. I did look a little rough in the beginning of this video. Low-key, low key, I had a headache all day. I was stressed about filming today, and I honestly felt like I didn't have anything to show today. And today was raining, and since it was like a rainy day, it kind of felt like more of a nap day, which is horrible for the type of video that I was trying to say. But at the same time, it has reminded me that even though I try my hardest to have a productive day, a productive day, even if I'm... I can't talk, I'm sorry. Even if I have a productive day, I still find myself wanting to sleep. I was supposed to edit today, like most of this video, and I ended up not doing that. Instead, I reorganized the whole house, went to Target, and stress shopped as you saw. I'm trying to save money, but one minor inconvenience, and here we are. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I kind of gave you guys a little bit of motivation of how to start your routine at whatever time you want to start. Like I said earlier in the video, personally, I mean, I like waking up because it's less people. And I wake up more with the earth, and it kind of calms me down because I get super anxious when it's right bright outside and it's everybody's up so many cars it's red, all the radiation and all that I can feel it's just it's not my cup of tea and by the way I didn't film it but I had leftover dinner I had some rice and steak from Wednesday I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and kind of got the gist of what it does feel like of trying to have a productive day even if you're taking care of yourself even if you're relaxing even though you are taking a break on work even though you expect to do work today perfectly fine it's still it, it can still be considered productive you don't have to do like a million things to be productive take care of yourself take a nap watch a movie plan draw clean cook all of that can be productive you just gotta really put your mind into it trust me but honestly i there's many days where i just do not get up so don't feel bad i just don't film it all right i'm gonna head to bed after i finish this popsicle and i'll see you guys in the next video bye